start with Stony. The turn order tonight will be Stony, uh, Jake, and Ruben. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so Stony, a hearty good morning to you. Um, Arcadia Bay Radio is is just springs on to your clock radio. Yes, you still have one of those. Oh yeah, he's definitely got a clock radio. <laughs> I, you know, I I, I kind of figured Stony because like. I had some some very hippie roommates who were once like, "Oh yeah, man, I love my clock radio." And it's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like I had it's a like clock old, radio. Uh, wood grail brown one from like the eighties yes. that every kid's parent had. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> and their parents sometimes passed it on to their kids. That's why I had one for like yep, five that, years. That's how <laughs> All right, so it's like the, the, the DJ's like, "Good morning, Arcadia Bay. It is the Clam Festival." <laughs> <laughs> so it is Saturday morning. Clam Festival's in full swing. <laughs> um, so is is this um like a annual kind of festival type thing? Yes. Okay, yes. so I think Stony would be overly excited about it considering it's probably nice. like one of the biggest things that comes to arcadia bay or the bay hose <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh he is just going to like burst into jake's room <laughs> <laughs> like holding Jake, pancakes or something <laughs> so well, no you gotta save room for the clam <laughs> so okay question. does would stony have a clam festival shirt. <laughs> You've probably got every clam festival shirt that exists in your life. He's, wear- he's wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, All right. Jake, so what Jake... are you doing? Before we're, we're going to do five minutes before Stony bursts in. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just. I just want to say I've never described Jake's room, but um, one of the things that Stoney's always noticed anytime he goes in there is it looks like Jake is ready to just up and leave at any second because he lives out of his backpack. And like the only nice. thing that shows that that room was lived in is the the sleeping bag that's used as a bed and the the desk where his three monitors are for his for his hacking and everything. So Sto- so Stoney's right. always you know so I just picture Stoney jokes with him about that kind of stuff and it's just like well you're ready to leave. Um, so I have a bed for you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he he prefers to have everything in his backpack ready to go. He even even keeps his car keys in the backpack. <laughs> but um, the um. Tony's wearing that, by the way. Go ahead. <laughs> Fantabulous. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so what's anyway, up, Jake? So. The the rest of the room, the floor is covered in used energy drink cans. Um, and so the, he's, co- he's he's laying in his beanbag, just like asleep, covered in these cans. So when Stoney bursts in, he like jumps out of the beanbag, just a clattering of cans all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all right. what he's doing. All right, so Stoney. You got uh, the clam, think... clam festival shirt, your clam hat. Oh, yeah, totally. He's like, okay. <laughs> and he's like pointing at the hat, the shirt. We're going today. It's happening. You barged into my room for this. Oh. You know this is my favorite thing. <laughs> my, you know what my favorite thing is? Actually sleeping after staying up for five days straight. Well... Don't stay up for five days straight, and you can have lots of fun with me at the clam festival. Oh, is that what is that what the kids are calling it these days? <laughs> Stony smiles and laughs. laughs. You know you want to come. We have fun every year. May Jong and Jajima. Beautiful yeah, take I, a fate point for is. using Korean. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a fate point for the clam hat, for agreeing to the clam hat, because that's awesome. <laughs> Stoney says some random thing. Like, he, like, Google Google's Korean, 
and plays it on his phone to you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Stoney has just played um, Where is the Bathroom in Korean. <laughs> I was about to say, though, yeah. I have some yeah, Korean exactly. words like on here somewhere. <laughs> I'm not leaving here until you leave with me, so we can do it the easy way or we can do it the hard way. Fine. Just let me grab my jacket. This jacket? Stoney's holding a clam jacket. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Jake is just like... <laughs> Jake looks hungover. Um, he's just like sitting on his, on his in his sleeping bag, just like holding his head a little bit, just looking at it, and he just like shakes his head slightly, and he's just like, oh. oh. Fine. While you're waking up, Stoney's gonna go make you a natural energy drink. <laughs> Nice. It's like a kale mango banana smoothie. <laughs> yeah, totally. With honey. <laughs> yes. All right. So while you're doing that, we're going to cut to Ruben. Ruben, do you want to take a fate point and be at the festival attending to the horses that are going to walk in the parade? I was th thinking about him already being there, actually. Yeah. Like, perfect. I imagine like his whole commune is like insane about this this festival. <laughs> Yes. In fact, here's your neighbors dressed up for the clan festival. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <clears throat> and of course, just to give you guys an idea for the background you're going to be entering. <laughs> Here you go. That's, you know, it's all set up. There's rides. There's music. <laughs> there's a parade. The parade of clams. <laughs> I love carnivals. So he is hype. All right. So what are you up to, Ruben, before the other two arrive on the scene? Um, Pretty much just, you know, helping his, uh, his family with their taking care of the of the animals pretty much although he yeah, really wants to get away and start writing some things yeah basically what's happening is right now there there's a bunch of bustle and you're just there to make sure that if there's any problems with the horses that are marching in the in the parade that you know you're there to help immediately yep so you're kind of hanging out with the human paramedics too <laughs> where it's like huh all right. <laughs> the only clam related thing he's wearing is probably some dangling earrings. Nice. That Aussie fellow who takes care of our dog with the tasteful clam earrings. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um. Yeah, so the scene is you're kind of sitting there, uh, Stoney and Jake. Y'all arrive, um, and nearby you hear <clears throat> there's a bunch of, of teenagers standing around with signs saying, uh, stop the drilling. Um, they're, they're chanting stuff, anti-oil company rhetoric, and they're led by a young lady who is, um, <clears throat> she's standing up in front of them and shouting quite loudly about how, you know, the, the there won't be a clam festival if we drill for oil. Yeah, oh, so as we're, like, walking up, we see these people. Yeah. Stoney starts to chant, fight the man, dig for clams. <laughs> Okay, make a rapport roll, Stoney. <laughs> I hope I have rapport. If you don't, you got a mediocre roll. We can roll okay. with it. <laughs> oh, I do have rapport. Oh, 
a one. <laughs> nope. Okay. Well, it's not negative. Well, now... You, you, got got elbow. Moderate, you got a moderate amount of success. You could boost that by spending a fate point and invoking your standing as like a wilderness guide. Uh, no, I think he was just like kind of like walking past. Okay, you're just walking past. All right, yeah. so <clears throat> one of the one of the young ladies uh, comes out and hands you a brochure. Um, about the, the Arcadia Bay Environmental Awareness Group. And uh, they... I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So, Jake, what are you doing? I'm guessing he's just, like, look looking around and, all, you know, just following uh, every, everyone else. Um kind of wishing he would have uh, brought his laptop, but, you know, Stoney was very, was very adamant about the no laptop rule, no electronics at the Clam Festival. <laughs> nice. That's right. You're, you're here to have fun. <laughs> In that case, make a noticed roll, Jake. just lurking just beyond the edge of the fairground uh you're you're in downtown but you know the woods are always close in around you um just beyond the edge of the fairground you see this black wolf just sitting and watching dad <laughs> 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 you try to approach it. Uh, you can yeah. even say dad, but you know better. I know. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to approach it. Okay, as you move toward it, it turns, looks back at you, and then takes off into the woods. And you notice five other black wolves do the same, following it deeper into the forest. That's not normal. Mm. Would Donny have seen this? This was happening while you were distracted with the kids at okay. the, the protest. I want to mention right now that Ruben is currently helping <clears throat> um, birth a foal because somebody brought their heavily pregnant horse to <laughs> to the uh, to the festival. Adventure okay, in that children. case, holy crap! Okay, so we're gonna need we're gonna need some uh, some rolls here. <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge. Um, so your first thing will be hmm. First thing's an academics check, right. right away. Academics. Yeah. Uh, is it? Would it be considered a vet role? Because I get plus two on those. Yes, you do. Right, oh eight. yes, this is very much a veterinary role. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So you've assessed the situation. Now you're gonna need to roll. Um, <laughs> and I'll let you get your plus two with this too. You're gonna need to roll rapport in order to calm this poor horse down. She's frightened, she's worried. <clears throat> Alright. I'm not great with with rapport. So add two to that. Um, zero. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so here's what you can do. <clears throat> you can spend a fate point to re-roll that. I will... Succeed at a cost or fail. Um I'll actually probably succeed as a as a cost. I'd like to see what happens with that. Okay, the foal is having problems. She is, uh, or the foal is a breach. It's gonna you're you're gonna have to take some extraordinary measures mm. to to get it out. So that is going to take a 
superb difficulty physique roll. You're going to have to beat a five. Oh, I'm glad physique is my highest. Because <laughs> uh, you're literally having to reach in and pull this thing out before it suffocates. Um. Okay, extra question for that. So sure. there's the vet roll, and I also have like the grappling re- roll as well. Does this count also as That's a grapple? For wrestling. That's okay. For wrestling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned it's about wrangling animals, so like, all right. So just the just the two on that one. Okay. So everyone is deeply impressed. You have birthed this soul. You even kept it out of sight of the of impressionable children. <laughs> And now the horse owner, who is a woman named Trish, I know it's my mother's name, Trish Formicella. Um, and actually Trish is like, she's like 16 years old. She really doesn't know better. And her dad, Jim is, he just buys her whatever she wants. Ah. So she is terrible at taking care of this horse (laughs) and didn't, doesn't apparently listen. And Jim didn't want to spring for uh, folks to take care of it for her. So how are you going to handle this, this girl who's crying and she's thanking you profusely? She's like, I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, for one thing, he definitely wants to try to calm her down and also basically kind of explain horses in general (laughs) to this girl who knows nothing about them. (laughs) All right, the calming down is going to require an empathy roll, and no, unfortunately, veterinary science is not helping Yeah. <laughs> I do not have that. <laughs> I'm just going to have to straight roll it again. Oh, no, I did oh awful. <laughs> you could succeed at yet another cost. <laughs> okay, what cost could that be? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, if you if you want Trish to be deeply traumatized, we can definitely handle that. But if you want to succeed at a cause and, and eat it for her, you know. How would I don't know how I would end up deeply traumatizing her, but um <laughs> but, no, but okay, let's try succeeding at a cost. <laughs> okay. So she's she's incredibly grateful to you, um, and she uh, she's like, I will make sure my dad pays you extra money, Doctor Ruchikali. I am so sorry. Is she gonna be okay? Oh, she'll be fine, mate. All right. However, you have a young new foal here. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Although, you have any idea what you might be doing with the fell? <laughs> no, um... I, I honestly don't know how she got pregnant. What kind of pen you you keeping her in? Um, it's the one on my dad's ranch property north of town. Well, I oh, I don't have a picture of that, so... <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, it's just like a wooden fence about, and she gestures to about her solar flex level about, yay high. It's possible, <clears throat> you, how long have you had the horse, actually? Um, I've, I've had her for about a year now. Um, I go every morning and muck out her stall and make sure she's eaten. One sec, let me look up how long horses are pregnant. Because <laughs> some animals can be pregnant for longer than a year. 
Uh, 11 oh, to 12 yeah. months. So she could have been... Okay. So, so he says... And there's a picture of the fans. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, that that should keep one keep them in. So, so uh, well, they can be pregnant for up for up to a year. So, you could have bought her like that. Oh wow! Now, she was just eating more. I thought she was just gaining weight. Now, if you don't know what to do with the foal, I I could, um. Either take her off your hands, or find someone who who can take her. Well, um, if you could teach me how to take care of them both, I'd I'd like to try. Oh, I can absolutely do that. All right. So there's your cost. You have to teach Trish Formicella how to take care of her horses in the coming months. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. By, fine by me. Because basically, you've you've met her dad before. He's brought in their dogs a couple of times. You get the impression he's not a bad man. He's just one of those absent fathers, very busy. All right. Type guys. I know the type. So. <clears throat> so yeah, he'll actually absolutely be teaching her how to take care of him. And, like, go on site and everything to, just, like, show her. Okay. All right, so fabulous. There's your cost. <clears throat> so, back to you, Stoney. You've now learned about the local environmentalist crowd that you didn't even know. You're, you're lo- I picture Stoney thinking, hey, the kids are all right. Yeah. <laughs> He totally feels good about this generation. He's like, all right. <laughs> Looking for a place to get some clams. <laughs> okay, yes. You find um you find there there is a large clam chowder competition going on. Uh, <laughs> is it for making it or eating it? Uh both. People are bringing their clam chowder recipes. Ah. Um, and then there's like the, the, how many clams can you eat? Uh, the record <laughs> is half a bushel. <laughs> I think that will... is interested in doing the, the contest. Okay. All right. So... <laughs> oh, there's going like, to be some rolls for that. I'm sure. It's like, it's like, this oh is God. Yes. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> All right, so you are brought your first tray of steamed clams. I mean, roll them the Zeke. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's the Zeke. <laughs> yeah. What else would it be? I don't know. <laughs> it ain't athletics, I promise. <laughs> okay, so Stony, the first first few rounds, you're good. You're good. It's great. You know, you finish off that, and you've actually finished your plate of clams. Long before this, uh, this girl and her boyfriend, who are the only other competitors, little tiny blonde girl <sighs> and her rather large boyfriend, <laughs> and they're just eating, eating, and you've put it away faster. So they're like, next plate, next plate. <laughs> so they bring you your second one. So now you're going to make a physique roll again. Because this is going to get interesting. All right. Okay. About two-thirds of the way through this plate, you're starting to hit a wall. <laughs> uh, he the girl who is... Like the, who's... the shake. Go ahead. <laughs> He's trying to do, like, oh, the, the shake. <laughs> the, girl, the girl's like, kneel. Get out of the chair. Kneel down at the table. And she's doing it. This will make more room for it in your stomach. And she's just slamming away plate too. <laughs> I, I still will do the same thing. <laughs> Alright, so the crowd is chanting for you at this point. <laughs> you're going to have to make a rapport roll to push through the wall of your stomach distending with all of these clams. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. <laughs> uh, Succeeded a cost? 
Oh, totally. Spend a fake point to re- <laughs> Okay. So, so, okay, you're going... The girl and the, and the guy, they're like there, they're giving you tips, they're encouraging you. <laughs> and all of you finally hit the wall at about plate six. It's... You, you've eaten six dozen clams at this point. <laughs> and you're just... <laughs> You're, you're stuffed. You're you're so <laughs> so stuffed. But since the three of you all made it through, you didn't win the contest. But you all get the clam eating. It's a three way tie. You all get the clam eating championship um, t shirt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Another t shirt. <laughs> Yes, it's it's, it's the, it's the twenty twenty one clam stravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> He's hugging both, got both their hands up, like Yes, yes. And and you know, they're just they're just like, Oh man, that was that was good. That was good. And they ask, Are you a pro eater too? Uh no, the, I just like clams. <laughs> Damn, that's impressive for somebody who doesn't train <laughs> for it. That is impressive. Now, Stony, you are going to take the mild consequence. <laughs> Dear God, that was a lot of clams. <laughs> is he going to be nauseous for a while? <laughs> it's more like any time he needs to move fast or do anything athletic, I'm going to invoke that against him. He gets a fake point and he gets a minus two to his roll. <laughs> It's <laughs> like, oh, so fiat. I know how that feels because after a, uh, a chicken wing eating contest in college, I had that feeling. <laughs> oh, I've been there before. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, God, I'm so fiat. All right. <laughs> how do you not, like, s- like, swallow some of the cartilage bony parts <laughs> of the chicken you legs? Do the cartilage. You just chew the cartilage oh at these I, point you're just swallowing clams whole like they're like just... yeah well at least with clams you're just like pulling the meat out of the shell like with wings you had to stick the whole thing in your mouth and just oh it. yeah oh and i i did like it was like 40 49 or 50 wings in an hour Oof. don't ever do that it's a bad idea but i did get a t-shirt <laughs> from Gumby's Pizza. But anyway. Nice. Wow. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, um, after the eating contest, uh, you notice that the, the protesters, they are, they are still on fire. They're just like chanting. Some of, the, some of the girls are moving off to go do stuff. But you see this one petite african-american girl she is just like chanting up a storm just she will not let go of it she's like we have to stop this and you can tell she's super passionate about it all right so that brings us over to jake jake are you chasing those wolves into the woods going back to the festival did you fall asleep somewhere what's going on with you (laughs) <laughs> he's, been, he's been in the in the woods looking for these uh for the for the wolves, you know. So, <clears throat> all right. So you come to a an old rock in the in a stream, and you recognize this place. You recognize this because you've been here before with um, with Stony. It is a, it is a place called Coffin Rock. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> the wolves are sitting around. Uh, the four of the wolves are sitting around a man with uh, with dark hair. Um, he's wearing just some like denim jacket, uh, jeans, nondescript T-shirt. He looks at you and goes, "Well, howdy." Do I happen to recognize this man? You've never seen him before in your life. <clears throat> He's just gonna 
hi. Been a while since I've been through these parts, me and my pack. <sighs> Steve Severin, that calls me Banshee. Uh, and what's your name, sir? Uh, Jake. <clears throat> Well, hey, Jake. I wasn't aware there was a pack in residence here. If you can call the the dysfunction of this group a pack, sure. <laughs> ah, not too happy with it, are you? He says while well, Sony's Although over there I scarfing. Am, <laughs> I am powerful, powerful, uh, confused. Why didn't you change to go be with us? Run wild like your brethren. In this world, do we under do we know the terms glass walker? <clears throat> yes. Right. So he just lets him know I'm a glass walker. A glass walker. Well, that it, don't that beat all. And the other the other wolves are just rolling around. <clears throat> well, it is a pleasure to meet you, Jake the glass walker. No, nah, like I said, uh, who's who's in charge of your pack? I mean, do you, of course we rotate leadership. They ask me to speak when the speaking needs to be done. I'm gonna guess that the leader is who you come across first. Very good, very good. You know, when I was in California, San Diego, there was this weird little clique of werewolves, not glass walkers, and I think they were bone gnars, but they were trying so hard to make, they must have read some old book about wolves, and they were trying so hard to fight each other to see who was going to be the alpha. And I'm just sitting there, just watching, going, don't that beat all. <laughs> I like the reference to that, because, you know, that's <clears throat> the whole alpha thing is not how wolves work in the wild. <laughs> Well, yeah, but that doesn't stop Edgelord Werewolves from trying to do it. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying I appreciate the reference. No problem. Wow. So, you, so anyway, you're a glass walker. I've met several before. My pack and I have. So, uh, ain't much glass in Arcadia Bay to be walking in. Figured you'd be in Portland or up in Seattle. I lived in Portland a long time ah, ago. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> so anyway, uh, shall we go meet your pack or are they off hobnobbing with the humans? They're blending in at the clam festival. But you don't like blending in too much, do you, Jake? That don't explain to me why didn't you change? I mean, I know glass walkers changed before. I'm saving the change for a special someone. Oh, something gives me a frisson up my spine, like you're talking about revenge or something. <laughs> I guess one would call it that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? And the, the, the wolves kind of plop their heads to the side and, and you know, loll their tongues. Well, I'll tell you what, Jake. Um, why don't my friends and I, we, we accompany you back to the Clam Festival. And, uh... I promise we will shapeshift into our most domesticated form. Okay. <clears throat> sure. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, y'all are uh, headed back there. <clears throat> or did you consent to that, Jake? Yeah, we did. Okay. All right. So, Ruben, 
<clears throat> you finished teaching Trish the birds and the bees about horses. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... He still needs to wash his arms. They're covered like, with, like, blood and other stuff. <laughs> I'm, I, I am assuming that you went to a wash station and got cleaned up. <laughs> And, of course, now uh, one of the vendors like, I saw what you did. That was very good of you. Um, here, have yourself a uh, one of the Clam Festival t-shirts for free, you know, because your shirt's all, like, bloody and stuff. Oh, well, thank you, mate. Gosh, your accent is so cute. <laughs> She's like a she's like a portly middle-aged woman. She reaches up and pinches your cheek. <laughs> He just smiles at her and happily takes the shirt. Okay. <laughs> um, so. Yes. All right. So, um. You know, uh, Ruben, after you change your shirt and get washed up, you notice um, the little girl named Sally, uh, the daughter of the waitress at the uh, the Two Whales Diner. She is standing and watch, looking out over the at the, the docks and going, just looking kind of forlorn and you know a little sad. Um, as much as I know that is a prompt, <laughs> um, he's probably just gonna go ride things. Honestly, that's fine. No, that's just fine. All right, so you could ride things. You're you're having a good time riding. <clears throat> okay, excellent. <laughs> and because you have such a high physique, you don't even get sick. <laughs> Yay! All right. <clears throat> so. Stony. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you see Jake returning from the woods with five people. A tall, dark-haired man, a slim Hispanic woman looks and she doesn't look too old. Looks to be about 18 or 19. <clears throat> Uh, two two fairly nondescript young white boys. Can and, okay, and I'm sorry, I was finishing the last one. And uh, one um, big, big Native American guy. Dony so kind of like smells in the air, not like like <laughs> noticeably, but uh, he tries to <laughs> take in the surroundings and see if he can't like pinpoint what they are if he's smelled them before. Make a notice roll. All right, Stony, because you are more spiritually in tune than the others in your pack. You know something about this group. Jake has just come walking back with a pack of black spiral dancers, werewolves uh. who have sold their souls to the worm. Ah. Uh. Uh. Explain why Jake doesn't feel very comfortable walking with these guys. How is, like, is Jake, where are they, like, how far to the edge or, or the entrance of the festival are they? Oh, no, they've walked right down the midway. And, uh, the guy who's, the guy who's walking near Jake, and he's just chatting, and he looks up at you and nods friendly-like. He's like, why, well, hello there. How are you, sir? Uh, the friendliness is not returned. The, the normal, like, just 
jovial look on Stoney's face is gone. And, uh... He kind of just looks at Jake very concerned. <clears throat> and then yeah. looks back at him and says, what, what business do you have here? Our business is we were passing through. I had no idea that some of our, our esteemed cousins had taken residence here in Arcadia Bay. There weren't any here last time. Where are you going? We are on our way north to Seattle. I suggest you keep going. Why, we most certainly will. Although, your friend did invite us to enjoy this fine clam festival. I think it's best if you just keep making your way to Seattle. Oh, no, no, no. You see, here's a problem. This is your territory, correct? Correct. And here we are, <clears throat> not doing any harm to anyone. I mean, come on. That old war of rage is over and done with. It ended in 1999. All we're doing is living our lives, and we just want to stop here, enjoy some of your fine clams, and then head on out. I don't think you're, you're, I've made myself clear enough for you. These clams are not for you. Oh. Arcadia Bay is not for you. I suppose you're right. Well, kids, looks like we need to head on out. And that is so sad. Sophia, he puts her arm around the Hispanic girl. Sophia here was so looking forward to some delicious clams. Guess we'll pick up some up the road. I guess so. Is there like a, a scent that like he can store in his mind because Stony is going to want to track them? <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, bear in mind that if you do, there are five of them to three of you. No, I understand. That's why I just he just wants yeah. to make sure that they're leaving town. Oh, of course. You got the stunt. I can smell them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah, so you you know their scent. And where do they say they're going? Seattle. We don't know anybody in Seattle, do we? Unfortunately, no. Okay. As he's walking away, you, you hear Steve uh, kind of talking to the pack, going, I do love small towns. And he begins whistling the Andy Griffith theme. I'm trying to think of that one, but I keep getting hamster dance in my in my head. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'll just uh, send you a YouTube video with it, so um, you can at least hear it. I think that Jake would see the the rage. forming within Stony. Oh, yeah. And you yeah. can tell that this guy wants that. So, Stony, you could actually make an empathy roll to try to keep calm. Ooh, or you can what? unleash the beast. <laughs> the guy's... I'm not one to unleash the beast <laughs> inside of a... Inside of a big gathering, I know. So. Yeah. Guy's just so charismatic, though. I don't have empathy. <laughs> then you're going to have to... Although you do love your towns, so I'll give you a plus two. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> is that bad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that as bad as it can get? <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is as bad as it's... Do you want to succeed at a cost? <laughs> um, I think that seeing, like, all of the innocent children and all of that would kind of force him to succeed at a cost. Excellent. And the cost is Steve knows one, knows your weakness. He has a weakness? Oh, I mean, I'm territorial. He, he, no, you're territorial, but you also care about these mortals. Ah. Yeah. Which is just classic supervillain awesomeness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I so... think once Stony got his bearings, he would maybe kind of say something about their stench. Like, why don't you go take a shower when you get to Seattle? Oh, they, well, they might be within earshot, but they've already headed to the parking lot. <clears throat> Okay. One of the things I kind of I kind of like picture going on is like as soon as they like weave his his side, um, Jake kind of, like Jake always has only two emotions, irritation or indifference on his face. But this would be like kind of like one of the few times that he actually like looks um, not only relieved but almost like he's about to cry because he knew that because he, he kind of had a bad feeling about them. And the only reason he said yes to them was because he knew he wasn't the strongest one in this group. So there was no way in hell he would have been able to fight them by himself. Um, so now he's kind of like in relief that he's not around them anymore. Too bad they didn't run into Ruben, though. He would have been quite nice to them. Yeah, that's, you know. <laughs> All right, so um, so yeah, okay, so Stony, you're gripping your hands pretty hard, you know, not keeping control. Yeah, Jake, you get the I almost want to cry look of relief, and one of your old classmates from high school comes up to you, Greta Carlson. She's the chief of police here in Arcadia now, and one of the few honest cops you've ever met. And she's like, "You guys okay?" Uh, I think Stoney would not, he, he would be, he would hard, take a hard swallow and, and be like, everything's great. Look at my shirt. I won. <laughs> and like really just try to like go back to him for a second and not be so in that moment of rage. Okay. And Greta, Greta, Greta just, she doesn't even resist. She, she falls along. Yeah, that's great. I saw you put away those clams that was a lot but you can also tell that Greta has a worried look because you got a little furrow between her eyebrows everything is okay Greta I know but I know that you care about this town as much as I do and if there's going to be a problem you let me know and I'll back you up Absolutely. She looks over to you, Jake, and goes, Jake, how's it going? He just breathes out. I'm... <clears throat> it's going. She walks over to one of the booth, buys, booths, buys you an ener one of your favorite energy drinks, and hands <laughs> it to you. Here you go. No. Thanks. All right, you two, you two be good. And... You don't Thanks, know Greta. anything about some weird rumor I heard. What rumor? Something about a, a tribe of Bigfoots causing, causing some trouble making kids to become vegans. I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds like a, that sounds very wild. Bigfoot, like, like Sasquatch from the Jack Links commercials, Bigfoot kind of thing. That's what I was saying, but they were they seemed pretty convinced. 
probably some of them drugs coming in from Seattle and Portland. <laughs> probably. Well, you know, marijuana's legal now. She pops a gummy bear in her mouth. And walks <laughs> All right, so Ruben, you had a fantastic time riding the rides. It was a blast. He's got like little prizes and stuff too. Yes, yeah. Actually, hang on. Which I may have to roll for, actually, now that I think of it. No. I'm gonna. You have you have money, and. And you spent enough to to get the uh, get the stuff. By the way, here is the Andy Griffith theme. Oh, okay. That's what Steve was whistling as he walked away. Oh yeah, now I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> because for some reason, fifties and sixties TV show themes make Tina think of terrible violence and bad people. <laughs> 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 So, um, the sun is beginning to set, uh, little Sally shuffles off to the, uh, the, um, two whales diner to meet with her mom. And basically the, uh, the town is starting to, starting to get ready for the clam dance tonight. Yes, there's a clam dance. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Ruben is just like passing out a few of the prizes to like Stony and Jake. Probably things like Jake... stuffed clams and such. Oh actually hang on. I found out So you got a giant neon pink hippo. <laughs> I'm keeping that. You got a an electric blue bear with a rainbow mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Oregon. Um, and then you got a psychedel a bison wearing psychedelic sunglasses. <laughs> okay, so he gives the bear to to Jake and the and the bison to Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you now have super super gay bear. <laughs> <laughs> and Stoney, you have the world's most drugged out bison. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. <laughs> no, I love this. Okay. It's at that moment, Ruben, you get a call. Um one of your uh one of your clients, a man named Bill Waters, uh he has he's a an oil rig was an oil rig worker deeply traumatized guy he has a, a middle-aged labrador named shepherd uh named uh jenny labrador retriever named jenny and uh you're getting a phone call from from bill so yeah of course he answers <clears throat> uh, uh doc do, do, doc rubin doc rubin i i i need your need your help all right what's your name i'm up here at the lighthouse and um Oh God, Doc! Je Jenny's got her leg caught in a trap. Somebody left a damn bear trap up here. I'm not. I'll, I'll be right down the way. So yeah, it just like gets. I suppose one of one of his family's vehicles and. <laughs> okay. Well, no, I'm assuming you've got you've got a vehicle for um. For the purposes of, you know, your veterinary practice, even if you're not, like, a great driver. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Stoney Jake, are you going to go with him? Uh, yeah, I think Stoney would go to see if there's any other bear traps that he could okay. collect as well. Jake, you staying at the dance, or, uh... He'll, 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 um... <clears throat> He'll 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 stay here. Okay. All they, right. Stony before he leaves tells Jake that if they come back, you need to call him immediately. Jake just nods. Okay. So 
the two of y'all get up to the parking lot. Um, you see Bill off to the side. He's waving his arms. Doc, that you? I thought you said you were at the Lloyd House. Yeah, it's the parking lot of the Lloyd House. Oh, sorry. When you said parking lot, I figured it was like the Clam oh, Festival one. No. So yeah, of course. Uh, so yeah, you're over. up in the deep woods. Um, and yeah, it's really bad. Um, basically, poor Jenny has caught her forepaw in this thing. Oof. Um, and somebody baited this thing with... Um, basically baited it with... Uh, with dog food oh so while he's trying to get the thing open he's just kind of like saying to uh to the guy that uh that this is the second time this has happened with with someone's dog and this time it was baited with dog food apparently no actually what's happened here is this is very different before it was accidental and it was poachers this was on purpose. You know that as a veterinarian. Mm. All right. So you managed to pry the, the trap off. And fortunately, it's a clean break in Jenny's leg. So you're going to be able to set that and fix it. You, I am assuming you start stitching her up and doing all the necessary stuff. Yeah, of course. Stony. Yes. You smell something of the worm but it's not those black spiral dancers um is bill around bill is but he's he's just foc- hyper focused on jenny and he's so I, saying things like oh god i don't know what i do don't know what i do without her uh he would lean down to like where uh reuben is and be like This ain't right, Doc. It's, uh... This is tainted. Oh, yeah. They... They... Purposefully t- tried this one. Specifically for a dog. Um, okay, so, Stoney, you're gonna search around for more? Yeah, but say, does he have that scent where he can try to follow it? Um, so, yeah, what you do... Is... You are searching around, and you find a couple of them. You find a couple of them. One has been baited with a $20 bill. And the other has been baited with a colorful child's stuffed animal. It's a little uh, little green elephant. What are they on about? That's really strange. Like, who are they trying to trap? That's a good question. What, like, does the animal smell like? the same thing that the traps smell like yes um but there's also a scent of decay and it's a familiar smell to you stony is it the vampire that no 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 this is like natural human decay So he he'll um, relay that to to Reuben that this smell it doesn't this is this is so strange like I've smelled this before. Um. <clears throat> then if you find a find a body, then you should probably call your your police friend. But that's the thing. And... This the smell is on everything. Oh, no, it's actually just on the stuffed animal. Oh, just on the stuffed animal? Yeah. Okay. And that one's strange. I'll have a, a look myself on, once I'm done here. 
So yeah, I think Stoney would just keep going further in. And, and it's at that moment, Stoney, as after Ruben mentioned uh, your police friend Greta, it's at that moment you remember looking for little Mimi Jenkins who went missing about 10 years ago. And you tried to sniff her out, but her scent just went away. Is that scent anywhere else around here? Yes, going back to the parking lot. To an empty spot. And it's mixed with that worm scent. Are there cameras in the yes. parking lot? Yes. Okay, so um, Stoney's going to call Jake. Okay. Jake, um, you are currently at the, the clam dance. Uh, everybody's having a good time. Um, folks are... Uh, st several folks that don't know you have tried to buy you drinks. Um, I'm going to roll randomly to see which gender they are. <laughs> because you are a very pretty boy. <laughs> 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 All right. So a young man has bought you a drink. <laughs> He's like, um, uh, hello? He probably saw the bear. Hi. Uh, would you, can I get you anything uh, else? Would you like a dance? Um, um, uh, I'm not even that much, that good of a dancer, so I... That's okay, neither am I, so I'm just kind of using this as an excuse. I... I mean, heck, you might not even be into guys, but, you know, I figured I would ask. <laughs> <laughs> he is just so awkward. <laughs> he, he's like a fa fairly uh, a small guy, uh, little arms, and he's like, you know, it, it's fine. I'll, uh, you say he's young. Every time you, you, said, you said he's young, I keep thinking of some, like, college student. <laughs> yeah, he's about college student age. Yeah. Oh wow, he likes older guys then. <laughs> uh, like he, you, he does, he does say that, which you know, kind of makes Jake kind of give like a, a little, little, a little tiny like laugh. Um, and um, he just like looks at him and just says, "I, I think a drink would be fine." Okay, so he comes back and he's actually holding like four drinks. He's like, um. <laughs> I forgot to ask you what you wanted. <laughs> I I'm not picky. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, I'm. I mean, surely I'm. You know, not drinking these alone. I guess. I, I... Oh no, no. Uh, well, hey, oh, you don't want to drink them alone. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so that means I can sit down and talk to you, right? <laughs> If you're okay with with, with awkward conversation, I, I, I honestly have never had anyone do this to me before. Have you heard me talk? I do nothing but awkward conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, awkward love and interest for Jake. <laughs> he introduces um, himself. His name's Anthony. Nice to meet you. I'm 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 Jake. All right, so the two of you continue being awkward <laughs> while Stoney is playing CSI up in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> and Ruben is still working on poor Jenny. It was pretty bad, but... And Ruben, you're probably pissed at whoever did this. Oh, absolutely. He just needs to be professional right now to help this dog. So. Yeah. And you're doing a great job. Once again, I'm not even making you roll for this because this is kind of what your character is just built to do. Yep. Um, <laughs> I I specialized a little bit much. I can't do anything else, really. <laughs> all right, so Stony. Yes. You're, uh, you're moving around out in the woods. 
Um, I'm going to need you to make a notice roll real quick. <clears throat> okay, you just noticed a tripwire in front of a shack. Okay. Um, he'll follow the tripwire. It is connected to a scythe. Oh. Oh, like the the reaper thing? Yeah. Like the thing they use and for And it wheat? would hit somebody at throat level. Oh. Am I, like, cleared from it? You're cleared. That's why the notice roll was important. Okay, so <laughs> I would like to... Oh, fuck. I want to trigger the trap. Or, like, trigger it. That yeah, way. you use a stick, you trigger it, boom. Yeah, so that way it's like disengaged. And the smell here is atrocious. It is just like chemicals. And you smell a gasoline generator running. Is there anybody around? Are there any lights on in the cabin? The lights are on in the cabin, in the shack. It's really more of a metal shed. Lights are on and you hear ACDC at top volume. <clears throat> um, he's going to work his way closer to the shack in there you see Billy Martin who is was a guy you graduated with Zach Martin's no good brother and he's bent over some flasks he's wearing a rebreather mask and uh, and some gloves and uh, a uh, rubber apron is he making meth? Yeah, he's making meth. <laughs> um, <laughs> so doesn't that. explain the trap. Well, it explains explain some of the traps. It doesn't explain how the tra some of these traps were no, made. No, you, you you know Billy. Billy set up that that scythe trap because he was in Boy Scouts with you, right? But you know he's not smart enough or worm tainted at all to have set out traps for people and dogs right um so stoney's gonna go turn the generator off what the fuck you hear <laughs> <laughs> and you see a flashlight come on and uh billy's walking outside he has a gun in his right hand <laughs> Billy, 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 Billy. <laughs> Roll athletics, because he's going to fire. <laughs> oh, boy. Dude, this is a tweaker, and you just said stuff to him out of the pitch black darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, he's a terrible shot. <laughs> so. All right, so you barely get out of the way as a bullet whizzes by your ear. Stony? Um, oh shit, man! I almost shot you, man. Yeah, Stony's gonna like tackle him to the ground. Oh. <laughs> fuck, dude! What the fuck, man? <laughs> what are you doing, Billy? I'm cooking meth, man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Stony, I can't tell you, man. Uh, I think Stoney is going to get really close and pull his knife out and hold it to his throat. Oh, shit. Okay, so he, you smell urine. <laughs> <laughs> and and Billy begins spilling, and he's like, man, the shit, shit. Oh, God, man, don't kill me, man. Uh, the, the, look, the, the sheriff, you know, Jimmy Sparks, Sheriff Sparks caught me. This is three strikes, man. He's three strikes. So, so he he's making me cook meth for him out here, man. What? Yeah, man. Sheriff Sparks, the guy out in Devil's Kettle. He don't like to go into Arcadia Bay because he talks about how Greta wants to arrest his ass someday. But dude, you can't tell anybody because he said he would. He'd kill my mom. He'd kill Zach. 
I can't can't fucking let them die. They're not gonna die. Is like is there, is does Stony know he's like being truthful with him? Yes. Okay. In, so... in fact, you don't even have to roll. This poor guy is, you know, <laughs> he's just scared shitless. <clears throat> so Stony will put his knife away and go and start the generator up. And uh, we'll pick Billy up off the ground and say, Billy, keep cooking. I'm going to get you out of this mess. And no, nothing's going to happen to your family. Dude, you, you be careful. You be real careful because Sheriff Sparks, he's... He'll do just about anything. And then, okay, and then Billy... How long you been out in these woods? How long you been out here? I come out here three nights a week uh, to do stuff. Um, there was somebody prowling around out here last time I was here, and that was when the sheriff he said he'd set up some some alarms. What kind of alarms? Trail cams or your uh, makeshift <clears throat> death trap out there? death trap billy looks just astounded you didn't do this look there's one other thing you know joy at the at the, at the two whales diner and her little girl sally yeah sally's my little girl and i i can't let sheriff sparks do stuff to her but yeah he set up a death trap man apparently that's what you're saying right that's what it looks like, but what does it have to do with the little he's girl? He's going to kill them. If Why? I don't keep doing it. Because he's an asshole, man. <laughs> okay, well you just keep cooking and delivering what you need to to him. And the next time that you're going to do a drop-off for him, do you meet in person with him, or is it someone else? I, no, I, I drop it off. One of his deputies picks it up uh, just outside of Devil's Kettle. Next time you have a drop, you let me know. I will, Stoney. I will, but you be careful, man. You too. Do you have any... Is there any, like... Uh, he's going to ask Billy, do you have any other kind of cameras out here or any kind of security, or is it just... Yeah, I man. We, there's a trail cam out there. Like, Should where's the trail cam at? <laughs> Um, he takes you in and he shows you the hard drives and everything. Can I have this? <laughs> nah, I, th I think this creepy sheriff is gonna fucking, uh, fucking notice if I take his trail cam shit, dude. So, how can I get the trail cam? You still hang out with that Asian chick? <laughs> 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 Stony Stoney tries not to laugh. <laughs> Bro, Billy, Jake, man, come on. You know it's not Jake. Oh, I do? Shit, man. Stop smoking oh. my... <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so if you, could, if you could get Jake out here, he could copy the hard drives. No one would be the wiser. Uh, Tony is going to call Jake. Because he needs to speak to him about a couple of things. Okay, Jake, you're sitting there. Anthony is actually regaling you with his uh, <coughs> with his um, ham fist. He's basically talking about you know his love of anime because he's just that kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> How are you responding to this, Jake? So your love, your your love of uh, uh, of this doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I'm Asian, right? No, you're Korean. That would be ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> Kudos to you. You can actually tell the difference. He laughs and he's like, "Well, my minor is Asian studies, and figured I might want to know the difference." No, I just thought you were pretty, and you had a bear and i was like 
holy shit, is there another gay person here? Because <laughs> I think there's the two of us. Yeah. I helped make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I can I consider myself um, equal opportunity, but, you know, that works too. Well, hey, gay, bye. I mean, here, here I was thinking I was just having to visit my parents and... Um, and sit here and not have anyone to talk to or having to hide from the local Baptist church. So, you know, I figured it was good. So I take it your parents are not wouldn't take kindly to seeing you talking to me, huh? Oh, no, they're fine with it. My parents are all burnout hippies. But <laughs> this is a really small town. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And I'm going to think my phone goes off around that time. Yes. Let's just answer it. He's just like, yeah. Jake. Yeah. How's the dance? Um, it's eventful. How so? Did they come back? Mm, no, they didn't. They didn't come back. Look, did you need something? Yeah, I need, I need you to copy hard drives of trail cams out here in Billy's meth lab. You need me to copy, you need me to copy hard drives of trail cams? Yes. I just picture Anthony sitting beside him just like, you know, ooh, a technique. Anthony, Anthony's got, Anthony at first was like, oh gosh, maybe I should leave. And then he's like, say what? <laughs> At least you didn't say meth lab. <laughs> okay, what? So, why, 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 and why do we need this? It's important. I don't think I should discuss over the phone. You never know who's listening. Oh, for once, you're that's what smart. That that's what you taught me. <laughs> <laughs> at, at least I'm making you a bit smarter every day. Okay. Um. All right. Well. I I need to go get my car from from the cabin or something. No, um, get the uh, get Greta. Uh, okay. Have her bring you. Well, I hope to God you're not making me bring her with us to do something illegal. Anthony's face just suddenly gets like a little bit, like he raises an eye. If his eyebrow goes up any further, it's going to be in his hair. <laughs> 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 okay just just get her i'll send you uh i'll drop a pen so that you know like to the lighthouse parking lot or whatever you guys know how to get there that's where we're at i'll meet you there lighthouse lighthouse parking lot i'll yeah i'll grab i'll grab greta um we'll, i'll see you in a bit all right thanks no problem he just hangs up and just look looks over at anthony he's just like my friends want me to copy information from hard drives. It's a bit of apparently having some computer trouble. So. Oh, oh, okay. So, cool. That, okay, cool. Um, can I give you my number? Can I have your number? How do we do this? <laughs> um, <laughs> bring him with you. Do it. Do it. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll find you. Oh, that's scary. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, that's I'm getting, scary. getting a little that's creepy scary. out. Um, <laughs> Truthful, but scary. Cool town. <laughs> no, that was some that was some suave ass shit. I'll find. Okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, have a good time copying hard drives. Yep. <clears throat> and you have fun at this dance maybe you know maybe you can find a more attractive man so. i doubt it <laughs> <laughs> he just he just gives a little shy a bashful giggle and like walks out <laughs> <clears throat> and goes find goes to find greta all right you find greta uh at the police station he's writing jake i what's I need, going on i need a favor I need to get to the to the lighthouse parking lot. You need a ride to the lighthouse parking lot? Yeah. 
This wouldn't happen to be about the issue you and Stoney seem to have with those people earlier. It, no, no. Um, it's, uh, Sto Stoney, Stoney le left his computer up there, and he needs me to go help him get it. He left his computer at the lighthouse, and he needs your help to get it. All right, Jake, I will give you a ride, but you're going to clue me in on what the hell is going on. Sure. She gets her keys, gets you into the, gets you riding shotgun in her, uh, in the SUVs that the uh, local police use, and she's driving up toward the lighthouse. Ruben. Mm-hmm. Um... You and J you have got Jenny all patched up. Um, and uh, Bill Bill is thanking you profusely. He's like, Doc, you are about the... Uh, you're an animal's best friend in this town, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Make sure to keep her off that leg. As much as you I can. Will. Who the hell leaves traps out for dogs? That's a good question, and one I'm hoping to try and answer soon. Well, you be careful, Doc, okay? We we'll leave. Get her in the truck and take her back home. Keep an eye on the ground, just in case. Will do. All right, so Ruben, you can definitely smell where Stoney went. I mean, the clam farts will give him away for hours. <laughs> <laughs> I think Stoney would be waiting in the parking lot. Okay, so Stoney's come back to the parking lot, but yeah, he still stinks of clams. <laughs> oh, the only reason Billy couldn't smell it was so he sent a meth lab. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so so he does ask him about the traps if he found like any more. Yeah, he would bring them with him. Like he would. Yeah, he's not leaving them there. Like he'd disassemble them or whatever, disengage them, and then bring them with him. Oh, okay. Probably just throw them in the back of your vehicle or whatever. But that's that's the reason why I wanted the sheriff there. I I would think that uh, she would want to actually see him where they were on the ground. I mean, I can take her back to the exact location <laughs> if she needs to see where they're at on the ground. I don't really. Right. There's trail cam footage. I think that might be useful to us plus these cameras out here at the parking lot because I've smelt it and it leads directly back here would Reuben know about the little girl missing I uh, doubt it no, I'm, I'm going to say that was before we arrived okay and take a fate point for not being for anything being before you arrived there uh, Reuben Wait for what now? Basically, for not being able to insert yourself in that part of the investigation, <laughs> take oh, a okay. point. Sweet. <clears throat> so is uh, Jake there? Yeah, Jake and and uh, Greta have arrived. Okay, so. Uh... <clears throat> Stoney will pull Jake to the side and say, "Where, like, just follow up. You'll run into Billy's meth lab and see if you can't copy the hard drives of the, ca the trail cams, because I want to see some. And that leaves Ruben to be talking to Greta, I guess. <laughs> and then, yeah. I like, to, I, I like to think, though, that Stoney kind of notices that Jake seems to be glowing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would. <laughs> Jeff on the so, dance. Wow. Um, so uh, Greta Greta looks at you, Ruben, and says, "How are you doing, Doc?" Good day. Uh... Give me one second. She walks over. One second. She walks over to Stony because she made her her notice roll, and she's like, "Stony, did you say meth lab?" <laughs> Um, <laughs> man, you got some good ears. Look, Doc. <laughs> or, uh, look, look, Greta. Um, 
lie to your heart's we, content, Stony. Come I'm on, not. Stoney. I'm not gonna lie to her at all. He's gonna be like 100 percent honest with her. He's just trying to. Yeah, I feel like the truth is knows. good in this situation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, okay, look, Greta. There's a couple of things. One, he's up in the woods cooking meth in a lab for Sheriff. What's his face? Sparks. Sheriff Sparks. Because Sheriff Sparks has threatened to kill multiple people in our town if he does not cook for him. So, instead of... Let me guess, there is absolutely no hard evidence of that fact. I mean, other than a meth lab full of... So it won't be traceable back to him. He'll have plausible deniability, and you know what? This is a national forest. I have no jurisdiction here. Well, good. Then you can't stop him from cooking meth, can you? Because I want him to cook it because there's he's gonna I'm let not me going know. To stop him. I <laughs> want to know when the next drop is, so that we can get this motherfucker. Yes, let's go get this motherfucker. So and Red then grins. and then another thing, <laughs> and he's going to hold up the stuffed animal. <clears throat> All right, Greta looks at that. She's like, wait a minute. It's just a... looks old. Oh, my God. She covers her mouth. She's like... Is that what I think it is? Is is that the one that... that went missing? Yes. With a little girl? Yep. Oh I found gosh. I found this placed on a trap. <clears throat> on a trap? Yeah, a like a bear trap. Yeah, oh um, Bill's dog got caught in um got caught in one as well. Baited with dog food. I I don't know where my accent went in that one. <laughs> No, you're that fine. sounded good to me. She, she just, well, that's Minnie Jenkins stuffed animal. Oh my god. There was also another <clears throat> trap with money on it. Like, what is going on up here? What the fuck? Okay, um... I'm gonna need you, or if we can look at these surveillance cameras and see if there's something that sticks out. Yeah, a few years back, you remember when that that, uh, that Rachel Amber girl went missing? And it turned out a high school teacher that murdered her? Gasp, yeah. I know this plot. I know, I see, tie-in. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you remember that, right? Yeah. We always suspected the guy that did it, but he he died of lethal injection. Jefferson did. Maybe it wasn't him. Maybe he was a ploy for it. Yeah, but we found his weird little playroom. Maybe he had a partner? Someone else who did it? Helped him? I don't know. All right, so... Stoney, I'm going to have to ask you one question. Shoot. Why do you do this? Do what exactly? I, mean, I know why I do it. Well, I mean, you're ch- you're out here chasing down criminals in a meth lab. You chased a bunch of people out of our town. This is our town. What's up with you, Conway? This is this is our town. Fair enough. <clears throat> I've got your back, and whatever you need done, I'll get done. So, and by the way, you can write a 
Greta down as one of your contacts, Stony. Nice. Neat. <clears throat> so now if you help covering things up with the law, uh, Greta Carlson is your go-to girl. Word. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so J uh, Ruben, um, you're mm -hmm. there. She turns back to you and goes, Hi, Doc. Good day. Do you also go chasing after meth labs? Uh, <laughs> or is it just Stony? Only on the weekends. I need a drink. <laughs> Stony, we get back to town, you're buying me a drink. I'll buy you two. <laughs> Thanks, then you're probably driving me home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm surprised they didn't explain that, you know. Jake's the notorious Siaka hacker. <laughs> Just, he's helping. There's something she doesn't need to know. <laughs> well, if the FBI doesn't even know you're that hacker. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Jake, you finally make your way up to uh, up to the meth lab, and you don't hear ACDC. You actually just you see Billy on the steps crying. <laughs> Hi. Jake? Yeah. The one that you keep confusing for a woman every time we meet. <laughs> sorry, man. I'm bipolar and I've been I've been on some, some hard drugs, man. I'm sorry. Uh, my uh smells like it. He shows you a picture of the little girl, he's like my my daughter. Not the... So, uh, Tony said you're gonna look at the hard drives, right, man? Yep. Um... Alright, I aired out the place so you won't die. Appreciate it. Um, I'll, uh... It shouldn't be but a few minutes. Yes. Okay, it... Actually, you're kind of impressed. The security on this thing's pretty tight, but not too tight for you. So you managed to you managed to pull the hard drives, and um, even with a cursory analysis, you see you see somebody setting up traps, like the the bear traps. No, oh, fantastic. It's an old, dirty-looking man. Looks like a bum. <clears throat> Great. So I can copy all of this, including like the videos and everything. And you've copied everything. Nice. All right. And he's gonna remove those and fix up everything. It's like he was never there. Can Jake do something to like when there's uh? the trail cam is being like it sends like the information to one of our computers as well not without boosting the signal dramatically and altering the trail camera quite a okay. lot they don't have that big okay range. okay <laughs> okay so next thing y'all know you are in the Clam Festival is pretty well closed down. Um, and y'all are in Frank's Bar and Grill. <laughs> Love Frank's. It's, <laughs> it's pretty much like... Actually, I think it was on that map I sent you. It's where, they have the best clam chowder. No, don't say clam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, world's best clam chowder. Frank Smokehouse. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> say clam <laughs> beautiful all right so uh yeah basically um and if you guys did want to tell greta about being werewolves you could make her kinfolk which actually gives her a measure of spiritual protection but that's up to you i would love to do that oh really i didn't know that was an option 
Yes, it is an option. Remember, werewolves don't have a masquerade. <laughs> right. So So we probably I have think... to prove that to her as well, right? <laughs> I'm gonna say you you've shown her exactly how when say Stoney cuts his hand with his own knife and it heals instantaneously. Oh, I was gonna say like he's gonna wait till after she's had a couple of drinks and then tell her. <laughs> Okay, so she, yeah, she's had a couple of drinks. She's like, so Arcadia Bay is a good town. We cleaned it up a lot <clears throat> after all that shit years ago. I mean, that was weird stuff. That teacher being a murderer, and then the storm. <laughs> okay, so there was the storm in this timeline. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Stony, like Greta, do you believe in fairy tales? You mean like, according to Hoyle, fairy godmother fairy tales? Uh, Jake, it's in. It's just like you know more about like supernatural. Sure, there's fairies. Like, there's fairies, there's werewolves. I do believe you are living up to your name. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, you, you know that um, I live a clean lifestyle. Yeah, I know. Takes another sip of her uh, other beer. So, so, yeah, you live a clean lifestyle. What, um... What about fairy tales? Do you believe the old things you read in the books that monsters and the battle of between good and evil really exist? Uh, well, maybe. I mean, maybe. But it could also just be, I've never, are you saying have I seen things? Are you about to ask me to go to church or some shit? <laughs> No, but there's a reason why. You know my mom's Jewish, right? (laughs) (laughs) Mazel (laughs) Tov. Now don't you be going. I think you did come to my bat mitzvah, but anyway. There's a reason why. Do I believe in it? Probably, probably not. If I saw one, I guess I'd have to. I mean, I've seen some pretty shit. You want to see some really weird shit? Tony, if you're going to drop your pants, I'm going to have to make a fight. <laughs> I am too drunk to deal with that. <laughs> um, come outside. Jesus Christ, you're going to show me your dick. <laughs> I'll hold you outside laughing. Uh, Stony will, is it, like, is there like a back alleyway where no one can see yeah well it, you know you just walk off the edge of the gravel parking lot you're, you're just you're okay just this, this whole deeper stuff <laughs> ruben's so, following though <laughs> um shit ruben's gonna, gonna get your like, dick too <laughs> no he's gonna get like really close <laughs> and say it's all true what you've been told Vampires, werewolves, fairies, spirits, they all exist. So how can I know that? Ruben but, uh, just turns into into yeah. the thing right now. When, yeah, like when she's when she says that, he will shift into his like wolf form. Same with Ruben. She looks at you and Ruben, and I'm gonna finish on this note. She says, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go that's where we will pick up next time <laughs> yay beautiful <laughs> y'all never disappoint hell yeah <laughs> that was fun yeah. yes it was I like how, how she was just like Ruben's here to look at your dick too <laughs> <laughs> So 
So yeah, now you all have your first uh, first kinfolk. Nice. Yay. And a good one too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Where do I write that on here? Um, I would just put a note somewhere. Oh, uh, actually, under extras. That's what I put. Under extras. Put oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Put contacts and things under there. Contacts, magical items, that kind of stuff. Alrighty, fair enough. Yeah. So I, I ho I'm glad you all liked that I was actually incorporating the story from the game. Um, oh yeah, very much. As back history, and um, I also, I'm also glad y'all have. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed the mystery elements I introduced this session. So. Oh, absolutely. Like, who the hell's leaving traps for people and pets? Yeah, I love. And this of kind course, of you know. And I, I, I realize that Skylar will take no greater pleasure in finally finding the bastard and ripping them apart. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I have to say, I very much enjoy like the little interaction moments, like with Jake and and the guy, and with Greta and everybody, really. Good. Yeah, yeah. good. See, I, it's good. I'm glad this group enjoys that because y'all role play really well. Um, and yeah, I like to make it more about the role play and the interaction than just like, here's the story, bam, bam, bam. But some groups I have are like, oh, fuck it. I don't want to hear this crap. Let's just kill something. So I'm <laughs> glad y'all aren't one of those groups. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love the little things like that. Excellent. Yeah, I like and I'm, like I said, I'm glad y'all are enjoying my, uh, so what'd y'all think of, of Steve, the, the black spiral dancer? I really liked the charismatic aspect to he, him. He reminds me. You watch True Blood, right? No. I have seen it, yes. Okay, you remember Russell? Yes. He reminds me of Russell. Oh my god. <laughs> if I can evoke that character, then I've done my job. <laughs> like, that's who I was like, oh, I want to punch him in his face right now. <laughs> And then I wanted to bring in the fact that Jory said that Jake is a very, very pretty man. I'm like, okay, there's got to be at least one or two people interested in him. <laughs> so let's find somebody. So Anthony sprung to life in my mind as this awkward Asian studies nerd. <laughs> I love it. Um, <laughs> I like it. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great week, and I will see everybody next time. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So good to have internet and water and heat <laughs> and everything. So. It's good to ha right, have you care. in general. All right. Yes. Thank you all so much. Take Thanks, care. Bye-bye. Good night.